Hey there, this is Mr. Pi, and we're going to be taking a look at that Prentice Hall Geometry, Section 10.6, Circles and Arcs. This is Part 2. The main focus of this video lesson is to identify minor arcs, major arcs, and semicircles given a circle and some points on that circle. So let's get this party started. An arc is a part of a circle. One type of arc, a semicircle, is a half circle. A minor arc is smaller than a semicircle, and a major arc is greater than a semicircle. Since both of these minor arcs and major arcs are being compared to a semicircle, it's best to start off with talking about a semicircle. This would be red. Arc TRS is a semicircle, so TRS, what I just highlighted in pink, is a semicircle, so the measure of arc TRS is equal to 180 degrees. Now, much like we saw before, uh, the arc, talking about just the arc, the shape, TRS, we do not use the measure. If we want to talk about how long or how many degrees it is, we use the M in front. Here, arc RS is a minor arc, so from R to S is a minor arc, and the measure of arc S is equal to the central angle, the measure of angle RPS. So RPS will give us the measure of this arc. They're the same measure. Arc RTS is a major arc. The measure of arc RTS is equal to 360 degrees minus the measure of arc RS, the corresponding or the related minor arc. So the measure of arc RTS is found by subtracting the measure of its minor arc. The measure of a semicircle is 180 degrees. We saw that in this first diagram. The measure of a minor arc is the measure of its corresponding central angle. So the definition of the measure of minor arc is by the size of its corresponding central angle. And the measure of a major arc is 360 degrees minus the measure of its related minor arc. So with that in mind, we're going to just talk about identifying minor arcs, major arcs, and semicircles in circle P. And here's a key point that A is our endpoint. So if we talk about the idea of minor arcs, um, we're going to have AD, arc AD as a minor arc because it's less than a semicircle or smaller than a semicircle. So AD is going to be a minor arc. And also then AE will be a minor arc. Keep in mind, there are other minor arcs in here, but uh, we have to keep in mind it's A as an endpoint. So these would be the only two minor arcs created as A as an endpoint. Now, major arcs with A as A as an endpoint, there's different ways to name them. You can name the one going to the right from A. You could call it ADE, or you could call it ABE. I'm going to call it ABE, so that'd be arc ABE. and the arc symbol, or on the other side, you can name it arc AED or arc ABD. I'm going to go with AED. So that would be arc AED. Remember, there are other ways to name these arcs. And the semicircles are pretty easy. Semicircle ADB. and arc AEB. So this has been Mr. Polarski identifying major, minor, ma minor arcs, arcs, major arcs, and semicircles when given a circle with points on it. 